Here are the Finnish champions, Susanna Rakamo, Petri Koko in third place after the compulsory dances, trying to win Finland's first world skating medal since 1933. Well, I talked to Petri yesterday, and he sounded somewhat frustrated with the results after the compulsories. They were fourth at the Olympics, and with the retirement of Torvalandin and Yusuf Azulan, they should really be sitting in second place, but they're in third. Well, Barb, I think that's an example of protocol judging logic in effect. All of these dancers have been so programmed to just two people bumping up, so you automatically move up two spots. And it's not going that way any longer, and it's great to see. Performance, but in terms of difficulty, Paul, I'd have to put this definitely behind Gritschuk Klatov, and we'll see what Monyant and Lavanchi have to go against this. The popular Finnish champions, Rakamo Koko. Well, Barb, it's nice to see that this original dance truly is going to stand for something in this standings. Not only is it going to break up the tie situation, but I think it's going to put all of these skaters in a position going into the free dance. We'll have their marks when we return to Japan. You told Composition. Five, 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 six, We're five, back at the Makahari five, event hall. Susanna Rakamo, Petri Koko getting their first set of marks. Five, fives, and sixes at the Olympics. Two judges, one from Great Britain, the other from Ukraine, gave them higher placements in the rumble than Gritschuk Platov. Second set of marks up to five eights, but right across the judging panel, second place ordinals behind the Olympic champions. Five eights, five six. 